Salmon croquettes are one of the most popular starters or appetizer ever. And today, we are actually putting our own twist on it. We're gonna make ginger and garlic salmon croquettes with a garlic aioli. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. If this is your first time tuning in, let us know you're out there by giving us a big thumbs up below and then hit that subscribe button to make sure you never miss a video. Now, let's start cooking. Salmon croquettes are one of the most popular starters and appetizers ever. And if you grew up like I did in the South, you've probably had it with canned salmon. Well, today we are actually going to make it with a poached salmon, which by the way, you can find the recipe for that right above. And um, it's just a very, very simple, easy recipe uh, to do this, this poached salmon. Or you can use a leftover salmon that you used, that you had from, uh, from another meal. So we've got about 350 grams of our, of our poached, of our salmon here. And then the rest of our ingredients for this, for these salmon croquettes, we've got about a third cup of panko breadcrumbs. And I'm, today I'm actually using uh, gluten-free panko breadcrumbs. You can use any breadcrumbs you want. So we've got our panko breadcrumbs. We've got some uh, diced red bell peppers, some diced green bell peppers. I'll probably use a couple of tablespoons each of those for the quantities that we're doing. And we've got our ginger uh, that's just been grated. And we've got our garlic that's also just been grated. And we've got some chopped capers that we'll add for wonderful flavor along with a couple of tablespoons of, of mayonnaise. And then we've got one egg that we're going to add to the mix. And then we're gonna season it with uh, some fresh herbs. We've got some fresh dill, as well as some herbs of Provence, a dry seasoning mix. And you can use basically any seasoning mix that you want to, but we're just gonna use uh, the dill and the herbs of Provence. And then a little bit of salt and pepper and some lemon juice. And that'll be it for our mixture. In addition to our actual salmon croquettes or our salmon patties, we're going to make a wonderful garlic aioli using uh, a base of just prepared mayonnaise. So we're going to set that aside for now and we'll come back to it in a minute. So as I said, to, to make our salmon croquettes, it's very, very simple. We literally are just going to break up our salmon pieces into our bowl and we don't, you know, we're not mincing it. We don't want it to be too small. We want to make sure that we realize that there's actual, actually salmon in there. And now all we need to do is just add our breadcrumbs. And I'm just going to add about two tablespoons of our peppers, about two tablespoons each of our red and, and green bell peppers. And all of our ginger, is going in and about half of our garlic because we're going to use the other half of the garlic for the aioli. So we will keep that aside. Our capers. Um, our mayonnaise. And what we want to do is just kind of get that mixed together. We're just using a fork to mix this together. I like to just kind of get it gently mixed. Now we can add our seasoning, add our herb seasoning mix. And like I said, this is what we're using today is Herbs of Provence. And Herbs of Provence is a French uh, mixture of herbs that include things like savory, marjoram, uh, basil, some rosemary. It does not include lavender, contrary to what a lot of people believe. So we've got our herbs of Provence in, our lemon juice is in, and we've got some dill here. And let's just chop our dill a little bit. Doesn't have to be extremely fine, but add our dill to the mix. And last but not least, our egg.
Okay. Egg is in. And now we just mix. We basically are just kind of folding everything together and we want to get a consistency that just, just holds together. And now let's season our mixture with our salt and pepper. Freshly ground black pepper is always just a wonderful flavor as well as yeah, probably about a teaspoon of fine sea salt. All right, that's our mixture. And once we have everything mixed together, now it's just time to form our salmon patties. And I found that just by moistening your hands a little bit, you can kind of keep it from sticking so badly to your, to your hands. So I'm, since this is a starter, I'm making uh, medium size the croquettes. So these are probably about two and a half inches round and about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch to an inch thick. Just forming a ball and then just patting those like that. Our croquettes are made and I've just set them on some parchment paper on a little plate and we're just going to sit this in the refrigerator while we make our garlic aioli. And that'll give these an opportunity to set up just a little bit. While our patties are in the refrigerator setting up, we're going to make our garlic aioli. So the ingredients for the aioli, for, this is just a very simple aioli made with a pre-made uh, mayonnaise. But if you'd like to check out my video on how to make your own mayonnaise and your own aioli, check right above. All right, so to make this aioli, we've got about a half, I've got about a half cup of, of mayonnaise here. We're just gonna add our garlic to it. And we're gonna season it with just a little bit of espalette pepper. And you can use black pepper if you want. We're just gonna use the espalette today. And uh, we'll add just a, just a pinch of salt to this. Mayonnaise is probably already fairly salty. We'll taste it just to make sure. And then a squeeze of fresh uh, lemon juice. And let's just get that mixed in. And that's basically it. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. It is absolutely fantastic. It's very garlicky mayonnaise with a little kick from the esplet. So we'll put this in the refrigerator and let that set up and then we'll move on to making our croquettes. To cook our salmon croquettes, what we're going to do is we're just gonna, add, we're gonna drizzle a little bit of uh, neutral oil into our pan and we're gonna melt it and then we will add our butter. In this case, I've probably got, we're gonna start with about a, about a tablespoon of butter. And if we need more, we can certainly add it. And we just wanna get our butter nice and melted and, and then we'll start frying and uh, uh, pan searing our croquettes. So the neutral oil I'm using today is, uh, is a grapeseed oil. You could use a walnut oil, an avocado oil, any kind of a nut oil but just uh, something that um, has a, a high smoke point. But really the oil is there to keep the butter from burning. So um, it doesn't really matter which oil you use. You're not trying to flavor your dish. So we just want to let this cook until this, we want to let this heat until the butter starts foaming. Okay, the butter is, foaming and the pan is hot. So now we can start adding our croquettes. And we are going to be cooking these about five minutes per side. All right, so we'll go five minutes on this side and then we'll turn them over. Thank you. 
All right, so I usually like to check these after about three or four minutes just to make sure that my heat is not hotter than I think it is. So we'll just peek, take a little peek. And yeah, we're looking good. And I'm telling you what, the aroma is incredible. It's too bad you don't have smell of vision But uh, these are looking really, really nice and starting to brown. Another couple of minutes and we'll be ready to flip. One of the things about the, this, this salmon croquettes is that, of course, the salmon is already cooked, so we're not worried about undercooking our salmon. Uh, there is egg in it, but that, of course, doesn't take very, very much time to cook as well. So, all right, so let's go ahead and flip them over. Beautiful, nice, gentle crust. Now, one of the things that you could certainly do if you want more of a crust is you could mix um, some uh, additional panko breadcrumbs with a little bit of egg, or you could dip your, your croquettes into some egg, then dip them into some panko breadcrumbs, and then into the, the heat. We decided to keep these really as, as uh, bread-free as possible. Beautiful. I'm just going to trade places with a couple of these because of the heat. The one thing that you don't want to do with salmon croquettes is to overcook them so that they dry out. So as soon as you have the, the, the nice crust that you're looking for on either side, then they, they are ready to, ready to turn. And this one we turned earlier and I'm going to turn it again just to get a little bit more browning on that one side. Okay, I think we are good to go. So we've just got a, a rack inside a baking sheet inside the oven that's been, uh, just had the oven on warm. So we will take these out and get ready to plate them up. Our croquettes are ready and they are absolutely beautiful. And uh, we've got some of our aioli on the, on the plate. And uh, we've added just a little bit of, uh, you know, sriracha sauce, just for a little color and for a little, little spice. A couple of lemon wedges and just some arugula salad. And this salad is just dressed with very good olive oil and lemon juice with salt and pepper. And it makes a really nice uh, contrast along with the, uh, with the salmon. So let's give it a taste. Oh, beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. Really great flavor. Really great salmon flavor. You taste the, the peppers in there, the red and the green bell peppers, and a little bit of the spice. Um, it's just a very, very good, fresh uh, flavor for, for salmon uh, croquette. Now let's, let's taste a little bit of it with the, uh, with the aioli. Mm. Mm. That is a wonderful combination. Now in addition to aioli, you could certainly do something like a tartar sauce um, or any other you know, sauce that you would like but this is just a, it's a marriage made in heaven. A little squeeze of lemon over the top brings out that freshness and uh, you've got yourself a wonderful starter here. Well, I hope you'll make this. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up down below and be sure and subscribe to our channel. And when you subscribe, ring that bell so that you get notified every time we release a new video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.